Hey guys, Dr. Burke here. In this video, I'm going to talk about the iodine estrogen connection. If you're a female, you need to definitely watch this because women have way more estrogen than men and we want to make sure we don't have the bad estrogen that actually creates cancer. Okay, I'm going to show you the mechanism here. There's three types of estrogen. One is the estrone, then we have estradiol, and then we have estriol, and they all work differently. But the estradiol uh, type of estrogen under certain conditions can turn into the cancer-causing estrogen call, called 16-hydroxyestrogen, which is basically the one that turns into cancer, all right? But estriol is the one that is anti-cancer. It's cancer protective. So it really has to do with the ratios of estrogen in your body and the environment, the health of your body, okay? Now, it just so happens that iodine is uh, it's an amazing mineral because it helps to balance these ratios. It increases estriol to the estradiol. So it's very um, anti-cancer. It's very um, cancer protective. It desensitizes the receptors for estrogen. Basically, it cleans them out, okay? And so if you look at um, a good source of iodine, I always recommend sea kelp. Now, make sure if you're getting sea kelp, it's not just any regular sea kelp that from any ocean because sometimes it might be high in arsenic. So you want to get something from a very clean, pristine part of the world. I use the Icelandic sea kelp that's certified organic. That's a really clean uh, uh, place, but it's very, very good for women uh, in general and specifically estrogen dominant women. Um, now we also have the second thing that will help balance these estrogens and that would be all the cruciferous food, right? So kale, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, uh, bok choy, arugula, all those are really, really beneficial to help desensitize the receptor to estrogen and, and help these ratios come back. So if I was um, predisposed to uh, cancer, um, I would be doing sea kelp and cruciferous. If you already had cancer, you definitely need to do this to prevent it from coming back. Now, as far as men goes, like interesting men, as they get older, they actually get higher estrogen. <laughs> so they're getting gy gynomastia, which is increased breast size, they get prostate problems because of high levels of estrogen. So this would be very beneficial for them as well. All right, so I just wanted to kind of show you the relationship, the connection, and I will see you in the next video.